We are pupils of the Model School in Inchicore and we are part of Inchicore Children's Broadcasting. The programme is called Inchicore Eco Squad. It's all about our local environment. Today we're meeting Lauren Chute, who founded a social enterprise called Dublin 8 Development. What is D8 Development and tell us about your work. D8 Development is a social enterprise. A social enterprise is a kind of business that tries to bring value to a community. So most businesses, you're just trying to make profit. You're trying to make money, right? Whereas with a social enterprise, you're trying to tackle a particular problem. And one of the problems that I was seeing in Inchcore when I first moved here in 2017 was a lot of empty buildings, um, a lot of vacancy, um, even some dereliction where buildings seem to be in a dangerous condition. And DA Development works to identify owners, identify new tenants, and bring those two different groups of people together to see if we can use the buildings that we have to um, start new businesses, start new enterprises. How do you think bikes help the environment? Bikes do a lot of work when we're talking about the environment. Um, the big issue for me, especially in a place like Inchicore and Dublin City, is that there's a very limited amount of space that we have, right? And if we want people to be able to move around in an efficient way, in an easy way, in a cheap way, bikes are a really good transport mode. Because um, if you think if everybody has to do every single uh, journey that they take in a car, um, that's going to take up a lot of space, right? It means that everyone needs to have a driveway. It means that there has to be parking outside of all the schools and um, all of your shops. Um, and it means that there's a lot of traffic congestion. Um, so bikes are wonderful because they're cheap. Um, children can use them. You can get around pretty fast, a lot faster than you can walking. Does repairing bikes cause pollution? So if we're looking at how we get bikes, right, there's kind of two, two ways we can get bikes. We can, we can buy a new bike, which are generally produced in China and then shipped all the way to Ireland. Um, and maybe they're wrapped in packaging and they're sold in a shop. Um, and the shop would have its own emissions, of course, too. So a, a process like that, we are buying something new and it's being built and manufactured very far away and then shipped to Ireland, um, there would be a lot of pollution associated with that. But if you're repairing a bike, um, there's an awful lot less because you already have the bike. Um, a lot of the parts that we use to fix bikes, um, we would have locally, or would be made locally. Um, and you're keeping that bike in use for a longer time. What other social initiatives did you start? So there's a few things I've been involved with over the years. One of my favorites was um, we planted about 250 uh, fruit trees in the area. So we, we planted them in people's gardens and we planted them in pe public spaces and on the verges of roads. And the idea with uh, planting fruit trees is that they flower early in the, in the year. So for the hungry pollinators who are coming out in early spring and they're looking for flowers, um, fruit trees are a really good source of food um, for those pollinators. And then, of course, it's, I think, a really uh, fun part of childhood when you can walk around and pick up, steal apples from your neighbor's garden. What is your plan for the future of Inchicore's environment and how can you make them happen? I think my focus has turned a lot towards transport and how transport and dereliction are, are very intertwined. So I'm really excited about a lot of the changes that we're seeing and how um, where we spend money in terms of our transport. We're spending a lot more money now on footpaths, on cycle lanes and on public transport like buses and trains. Inchcore will be getting a dart in the next few years, which is really exciting. So I'm, I'm spending a lot more time now working with local groups on ways to improve the walking and the cycling access around um, Inchcore itself. <laughs>